In this video, we will discuss about decision trees. A decision tree is a classifier in the form of a tree structure with two types of nodes. Decision nodes which specifies a choice or test of some attribute with one branch for each outcome and leaf node that indicates classification of an example. Let us see an example. Assume that we want a decision tree to decide whether to approve or reject a loan application. First test that we will make is whether the applicant is employed or not. This is the the root knot. There are two outcomes yes and no. So there are two branches for this knot. If the person is employed we can check his income level. The next knot may be the income greater than 20,000. Again this decision has two outcomes either yes or no. So this knot also has two branches one for yes and one for no. If the income is greater than 20,000 approve the application otherwise reject the application. If the person is not employed we will check his credit score. If the credit score is high approve the application otherwise reject the application hence the final tree has three decision nodes and four leaf nodes we have come up with a decision tree from the training set so that given a new applicant you can find out whether you should accept or reject the loan application how to classify the data using decision tree given an input at each node a test is applied and one of the branches is taken depending on the outcome this process starts at the root and is repeated recursively until a leaf node is hit at which point the value written in the leaf constitute the output the class label associated with leaf node is then assigned to the input let us see an example assume that we have a new application we have to classify whether the application should be approved or rejected start with the root node based on the value of the test go to the corresponding branch and you continue doing this until you reach a leaf the value of the leaf node is a predicted label for the new data so we can start from the root node check whether the person is employed or not the applicant is not employed so go to the branch with the label no next decision node is the credit score the applicant has high credit score so follow branch with label high next is the leaf node approve hence the new application can be classified as approved now let us discuss how to build a decision tree Hunt's algorithm is the basis for many of the existing decision tree induction algorithms let DT be the set of training records that are associated with node t and y equal to y1 y2 etc up to yc be the class labels step one if all the records in dt contains the same class yt then t is a leaf node labeled as yt step two if dt contains records that belong to more than one class an attribute test condition is selected to partition the records into smaller subset and the records in dt are distributed to the children based on the outcomes the algorithm is recursively applied to each node until a leaf node is fine for each branch consider the set of training examples shown here let us take salary as the root attribute check if salary is greater than 50,000 it has two outcomes yes and no three records satisfies the yes condition all the three has class label except offer yes hence the child node can be set as leaf node with class label yes the remaining four records belong to the no outcome let us take office near to home as the next splitting attribute it has two outcomes yes and no only one record with class label yes satisfies the criteria so we can make the child node as leaf node with class label yes remaining three records belongs to no condition take provide cap facility as the next splitting criteria it has two outcomes yes and no one record satisfies the criteria yes so make the child node as leaf node with class label yes the remaining two records that satisfies the no outcome has class label no so make the child node as leaf node with class label no here is the complete decision tree let us use this to classify a new record start with root node salary greater than 50,000 condition is now here go to branch with label the no next decision node is office near to home condition false traverse the no branch provide care facility it is yes we have reached the leaf node hence the predicted label is yes while learning the decision tree two main issues must be addressed the first one is the criteria to determine when to stop the splitting. The second one is a condition to stop the tree splitting process. The possible criteria to stop splitting are if all samples for a given node belong to the same class, we can stop the splitting. Or if there are no remaining attributes for further partitioning or there are no samples left. How should the training records be split? Choose an attribute 
that provides the best split. How to choose the best attribute to split on? Ideally speaking, an attribute that creates a split that results in pure child nodes. A partition is said to be pure if all the examples in it belongs to the same class. Assume that we have a training set that is shown here. The data set has two attributes A1 and A2 and the classification label is positive or negative. Which attributes provides the best split? Let us first split the data using the attribute A1. The node has two outcomes true and false. On the true side two records are positive and one record is negative and on the false side one record is positive and two are negative. Let us now split the data using attribute A2. Here also the node has two outcomes true and false. On the true side two records are positive and two are negative and on the false side one record is positive and one is negative. The child node of A2 has equal number of positives and negatives while the child nodes of A1 has proportionately more number of the same class. That means the child nodes created by A1 is more pure than the child nodes created by A2. Hence A1 is the best attribute to be chosen as a root node. Instead of measuring the purity of the node, mathematically we will measure the impurity of the node. The impurity of a node specify how mixed the resulting subsets are. There are several methods to measure the impurity of a node. Let us discuss some of the impurity measures. A common impurity measure used for determining the best split is the Gini index. Consider a segment D of a data set having C number of class labels. Let PI be the proportion of the examples in the training set D having I the class label. Gini index of D is given by 1 minus summation over I equal to 1 to C PI square. The lower the Gini index, the higher the purity of the split. So the decision tree will select the split that minimizes the Gini index. Let us compute the Gini index for the dataset shown here. There are 7 training records in the dataset. Accept offer is the class label. There are 5 records with class label yes and 2 records with class label no. Hence the Gini index for the dataset is 1 minus 5 by 7 the whole square plus 2 by 7 the whole square is equal to 1 minus 0 0.51 plus 0 0.08 is equal to 0 0.41. Hence the Gini index for this dataset is 0 0.41. Entropy is another measure of impurity. Entropy is a measure of randomness or uncertainty. Consider a segment D of a dataset having C number of class labels. Let PI be the proportion of the examples in D having the ith class label. Entropy of D is given as minus summation over I equal to 1 to C PI log to the base 2 PI. Entropy is the measure between 0 and 1. The lower the entropy, the purer the node. Let us compute the entropy for the same dataset that we have seen earlier. Entropy is equal to minus 5 by 7 log to the base 2 5 by 7 minus 2 by 7 log to the base 2 2 by 7 is equal to minus 0 0.71 log to 0 0.71 minus 0 0.29 log to 0 0.29 is equal to minus of minus 0 0.35 minus minus of 0 0.52 is equal to 0 0.86. Another impurity measure is the classification error. So classification error is equal to 1 minus max of PI. Let us compute the classification error for the data set. Classification error is equal to 1 minus max of 5 by 7 comma 2 by 7 is equal to 1 minus max of 0 0.71 comma 0 0.29 is equal to 1 minus 0 0.71 is equal to 0 0.29. Hence the classification error for the given data set is 0.29. Let us continue the discussion on decision trees in the subsequent videos.